Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit educational website, Break the Cycle, which is eight self-improvement lessons that come to me and you through 31 years of my being a professional family systems therapist. As you might expect, um, hundreds of my many clients and students, and me myself, have experienced stress. I suspect you have too. In fact, to get ready for what I'm about to tell you, let me just ask you to estimate on your own scale of 1 to 10, 1 is very little, 10 is too much, how stressed have you been in the last week? 1 to 10. Um, if you're 5 or more, or if you're too high by your scale, I hope this video will be thought-provoking for you. I want to offer a different way of looking at stress and how you can avoid it and minimize it or manage it. That's what this video is about. Let me start by asking you to reflect on where do emotions come from? What are they? How would you tell a seven-year-old who asked you, what is an emotion? And you would say, it's a feeling. And the child would say, well, what is a feeling? And you would say, what? What would you say to the child? The technical answer, only part of which I know, is that emotions are normal neurochemical, neurohormonal responses to two things. Our five senses, touch, smell, hearing, sight, etc. And our brains, which come up with perceptions. We perceive that that wriggly thing on the ground that's approaching us is a snake which might bite us and we might die. That causes some emotions. So emotions are instinctive, primal part of being human. They're not good, they're not bad. They point to something we need. And why am I focusing on this? Because stress, in my opinion, is being overwhelmed by a variety of emotions at the same time. If that is true, it would be useful to find out what are these emotions that comprise our, quote, stress, unquote, about which books and programs have been written and aired and studied and attended seminars. Everybody's searching to manage and reduce stress. I don't think they're looking in the right place. Um, see what you think. If stress is the result of having too many intense emotions for too long a time, whether that's seven minutes or 17 days. It's useful then to start thinking about where do emotions come from and can we do anything about regulating them and separating them? My answer is yes. My answer is based on 19 years experience at working with personality subcells as a professional therapist doing something called parts work, working with the parts of your personality. If this is a foreign concept to you, I invite you after you finish watching this to study the cluster of videos around lesson one in my channel. Lesson one will present to you the idea that normal personalities are composed of talented subcells, like the players on a sports team or the members of an orchestra. Each player has got a specialty, sees the world differently, is a unique, discrete entity. Your personality has a leader, your true self. Some of your subcells don't know of and don't trust your true self and disable her or him. When that happens, you are apt to experience a welter of thoughts and feelings that constitute stress. Let's go a little closer to that. Let's, let's go under the hood, take a look at what, what are these emotions. I propose that typically, not always, stress, if you take it apart, if you look at the parts of stress, part of it is anxiety or worry or fear about 
one or several things. Several of your subcells are activated. They've gone from quiet to active. They flood your mind and your emotions with the feeling of anxiety or fear. Uh, personality subself that specializes that is the scared child. Another subself is the worrier, W O R R I E R. There are many other subcells that can cause the normal reaction of anxiety to fear, to doubt, to con confusion. That's another part of stress, is confusion and uncertainty. Not having a clear idea. What is happening now? What's going to happen? What may happen? Another uh, sub-self that's real good at generating stress is uh, the perfectionist who says things aren't good, they're not as good as they should be, you should do better. Um, the perfectionist often chimes in with your inner critic. Do you have a sub-self like that? that constantly tells you of your failures and your shortcomings. So far we have a scared child, a worrier, a procrastinator, and an inner critic. How about a cynic as one of, a sub, one of your subcells, who pipes in for various reasons and says, oh, it's going to be bad, it's going to be bad, it's not going to work, you're not going to succeed. And then the warrior kicks in and says, oh no, I'm a failure. And then the guilty kid chimes in and says, I knew it, I knew it, I'm no good, I'm going to break the rules, I can't make the grade. And the shamed kid says, oh, I'm terrible, I'm no good. Now we've got about six or seven personality subcells all going off at once. They all are generating thoughts, which are chaotic, and feelings which are overwhelming, shame, guilt, doubt, confusion, um, fear, or anxiety. Does this begin to sound like it might create what we so glibly call stress? I propose it does. If so, here's the upside of this. If you accept this idea that this is where stress comes from, multiple subcells acting at once, causing many chaotic thoughts, and many overlapping feelings at once. Guess what? If you accept that idea and you start to practice um, inner family work or parts work, getting to know your subcells and working with them, you can reduce stress and prevent it. How do you do that? I explain how to do that at length in lesson one, and I'm not going to repeat it in any detail here. If you study lesson one, what you will find is clear, specific ways to do this. Identify the many parts, the talented individual parts that make up your personality. There are often between 15 and 35 different parts that are part-time active or full-time active. Identify them. Secondly, study the videos and the uh, article in my website that shows you how to do, quote, parts work, meaning how to negotiate and manage and coordinate your subcells. You can do this. This may sound like science fiction to you until you try it. Start to identify the parts of you that contribute to your stress. It may be an angry part. It may be an overwhelmed part. It may, it may be a, a cynical part, a perfectionist, a shamed child, a guilty child, many parts. Get to know them one at a time. Work to coordinate them, connect them with the executive parts of your personality which are called managers. <clears throat> they are your competent adult part, your historian, your organizer planner, your true self, your spiritual part and guide, your creative one, your wise one, your historian. You have a group of highly competent parts that can handle most complex life situations if the other parts will be quiet and listen to them. 
So what I'm advocating here to avoid or reduce stress. Study lesson one in my website and the related videos. Identify your subcells. Identify the ones that activate when you feel stressed. Separate them. Work with one subself at a time. Get those subselves to trust your true self to lead and to not disable your true self. Then, see what happens. I'm summarizing a complex process that can take weeks to do. It, you can't do this in one session or one weekend. The key, open your mind to the concept that your personality as a normal person is composed of some cells. Your some cells, when they react to your body and or perceived events inside your body or outside your body, they react uh, like players on a team not listening to the coach and all yammering at once. That causes inner chaos, a flood of emotions, chaotic thoughts, which we call stress. Incidentally, one of the chemical reactions is the release of what is now called the stress hormone. Look that up with Google, see what you find. Um, notice what you're thinking right now and how you feel. Do you think there might be something to this idea or does it seem absolutely crazy to you? Try out lesson one, including the video that shows you how to meet and have a dialogue with one or more of your subselves. Enjoy living a less stressful life. Then invite other people, including any young people in your life, to learn how to do this themselves. Thanks for watching.